Before coming to Creative Farm, was, it was pretty good to start with. Um, working at a wildlife park, it was very good money, very good job. And then I got introduced into the drug world um, up down in Griffith because people like Gok Alley work and you're drinking a lot, you need to be able to, you know, stay awake. Here, have some of this. And I was using every day, I was using at work, which also made me do pretty stupid things. I um, Actually, the reason I'm here is because I stole a car while I was drunk, which was actually my work vehicle. And yeah, rolled it at 180 k's an hour. Um, rolled pretty far. That disgusted me and my family. Like, yeah, I'm actually pretty lucky to be alive because of the crash. A lot of people thought they were looking for dead bodies. That woke me up a lot. I also tried to commit suicide when I was, yeah, a month before the crash. And then they said things come in three, and so. I'd taken two chances I wasn't taking it all. That's when I chose to come here. My oldest niece is 12. As I said, I go, she sees me misbehave and she's going to be, well, you did it, Arnie, I'm going to do it now. Just the advice I want to give to her is don't go down the track I went down. Like, it's the horriblest track ever. Like, now I'm going to cry. Um, but yeah, like, it's the horriblest track to go down. And yeah, just don't want her to fuck her life up like I did. <laughs> They made me cry. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be right. That's okay. I want to become a youth worker and show people that it's not that hard to get off it. It's your life, you pick. No, I just want to be the person that's a phone call away for any young people like myself that needed help and they were too afraid to ask. 